guys and welcome back to another unboxing video with new labels only so today we have something very different so we usually do unboxing of watches fashion accessories and other stuff like that and if you missed our last video of the unboxing of the classic 14 friends do have a look the link is in the description so again this is very different so we do, do an unboxing of a phone this is our first one so do bear with us we might go might not be perfect but you know we're getting there so you probably heard of this company before Unihertz they had a very very successful Kickstarter campaign back in around April May uh, time so this company is from China and going back to the Kickstarter campaign they actually raised 1.2 million dollars that's a lot of money the, actual, the campaign target was around thirty thousand dollars but they raised 1.2 million dollars and around 10,000 people backed their campaign so anyway so let's see what's inside so they have two phones the jelly and the jelly pro so we got lucky and we got the jelly pro because we're better than everyone else just joking anyway so let's see what's inside so let's see what is inside the phone so it's a 4g phone uh, has a quad core of 1.2 gigahertz which is not that fast but it's pretty okay for this phone uh, the RAM is 2 gigabytes and the ROM is 16 which is very big the battery of course is not going to be massive uh, so it's 950 uh, milliamp hours display is 2.5 inches which is well you will see in a minute the camera is well pretty impressive if you think about it 8 megapixel back rear camera and 2 megapixel uh, front camera and it's running an Android system of 7 point nougat and it has GPS, Bluetooth and LTE and this doesn't really, if you're reading this in the UK LTE may not, may not make a lot of sense to you this is just basically to access your data I think but anyway so let's see what's inside <coughs> so there you go this is the Jelly Pro so there's a black version and a white version uh, I will leave a link in the description for you to have a look so this is the phone here's the back it there it's there for a minute Let's see what's inside uh, this is just guessing a manual so have to use the phone and on the back you have a this is a packaging very simple very minimalistic packaging as you would expect uh, USB charger and your power brick this is because um, we are based in the UK this might be a bit hard to plug in because we have the free system one this is more I think you American I think but anyway we're, we're fitting anyway and nothing else so the packaging very simple very minimalistic nothing else so let's see the phone this is your back again 8 megapixel rear camera with flash you have to remember flash as well here you have your earphone jack this I think this is your lanyard a holder this phone has a lanyard holder if you know if you don't know what that is it's basically where you put like a little bracelet thing or hanging thing there just to make it fun again this has it my iPhone doesn't have it OnePlus doesn't have it Samsung doesn't have it I think this one does this bit here is where you take the cover off the back cover this is where you charge it, your USB plug, volume down, volume up, and this is again, if you can see it here, is your power charge, front camera, 2 megapixel, so let's try to turn it on, uh, it's not turning on, I think there's something with the battery, maybe it's not charged, so let's charge it and we'll come back to it. Alright, so we open the back and the reason why we are charge it is because of this, the battery is still in the packaging, so let's remove it. And then put it in again this is has a dual sim tray of oh, sim card entry so you have one here one here and also an expandable memory also an SD card so how long you want to put in again this is I'm just bring back the case this is 16 mega uh, 16 gigabytes so this can be expanded to how big your SD card is so that's another advantage yeah as you can see 16 gigabyte can be expanded to how much you want it let's put in the battery and then turn it on so the battery is in there uh, let's find the button <laughs> to turn it on there you go so 
pretty nice. Okay, there you go. So first and first, let me just remove the cover so you can see it properly. It's done. So it says, I don't know what that is, but anyway. So that's it. This is a Jelly Pro, the world's smallest 4G smartphone, and it is pretty nice. First impression, I'm not. It is pretty. It's funky looking. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a cute phone, funky looking phone, but. So when you press the home button, there's a little vibration. Oh, there's the back button, and I think that's the processor button. Compass is on already. So when you do press the back or the this button, there's a little vibration, and so does the home button. So let's see what's inside. So you have Google, Compass. I don't use Compass. Uh, you have Gmail, Maps, Hangout. Uh, Play Store, your phone, uh, YouTube. So it's pretty fast. One thing I like to do with my phone to see how fast it works is just to do this. If it if it lags, that means that it's not really that good. I mean, it's not that fast. But if it responds quite to what I'm going to do in a minute, that means the phone works pretty well. That's my way to, to check if the phone works well. But not everyone's when again this one's a 1.1 gigahertz processor, so might not be that far. So one thing I do is just shake this. And it is it is very responsive. Which is pretty surprising. Very responsive. It's not it's not lagging anywhere. It's not you I'm pretty sure this is not your cheap phone type. This is pretty well. So it does respond pretty well. So let's go and Gmail see how fast it loads. Pretty quick. Now let's find another one. Google. I mean uh, YouTube is pretty fast even for a 1.1 gigahertz processor that is pretty fast and there's in no internet connection that we should have to connect to but let's not worry about that and you have a drop down menu i don't know what that is again uh, there you go so you can see so wi-fi apple bluetooth and even if you don't if you don't use the earphone jack anymore you can also use the bluetooth uh location gps yeah so it is a pretty nice phone. So first thing I'm going to check is the camera. So you probably know this. This is Chris from our class of 14 friend. Again, if you missed the video, there's a link in the description. Uh, on YouTube. Uh, so let's go camera. Oh, you know what? Let's do the easy way. There you go. Home button. And then you just do this. Do this. Camera. So this is the rear view camera. And then we'll see if we can try to bring a shot. And then what do I do it? There you go. There is a lot of focus as well. Okay. So the picture you're seeing right now is the back facing camera. Again, 8 megapixel. You wouldn't expect it to be the best, but it's alright, it's not a bad quality picture. And this one is the front facing camera. Again, 2 megapixel camera. Bit blurry. One thing you're probably thinking of, can you can you write properly in this? Because the, you might think that the keyboard might be too small for it. So let's go on text and see if we can write. Uh, station. Uh, uh, let's go. So let's type our name. So new label is on it. N is responding to my thumb, even though my thumb is quite large, but it's actually on point. Uh, okay, that's my spot, sorry. Okay. There you go, so it's not bad. It's not, you know, it's picking up one one and one when I press. So if I want to press G, I get a G. If I want to press H, I get H. If I want to press R, I get R. So it's pretty responsive. So let's go on YouTube, let's see how the display work. This is 480p. It's not the clearest screen, but you can see it. It's not that bad. Let's see the sound. So we did find some music from not copyright sounds. You guys are awesome. Sound. 
so it's not the loudest of course because it's quite small the speaker is at the back it's not the front as most of the camera most phones are the speakers around here or at the front or this one's at the back so it's not the, it's not the worst sounding uh, speaker it's not the loudest but it is pretty okay so we download a couple of games to try out So he is quite tiny to play with. Alright, let's go. So let's try again. So again, it's freak cool. But my thumb is taking like this thumb is literally taking quite a lot of the space, but I'm pretty sure that's for, not for all games, but anyway, so again, yeah, that's pretty cool to play with, again, not the best screen to play with, it's a good phone, it's a phone that works, it's not a gimmick phone or anything like that, it's a phone that's actually made to work, and it does work, it's, there's no lag, again, yes, the picture is a bit off, it's not the perfect picture because of the screen size, but it's a good phone, so who would use this? This is not for your main phone, it's not, this is not going to replace your main phone. This is like a backup phone, for in case your £1,000 phone drops and cracks, or your phone just decided to, you know, the battery just to blow up. So this is a good backup phone. So the price of this phone is around £99 in the UK, and around $129 in the US. I will leave a link in the description for you to have a look. And so yeah, this one, that, so this was unboxing a short review, not a main review, of the Unihouse Jelly Pro. We are going to use this phone, so I am going to use this phone today. So I'm going to take this on the on, on the train today and see how people react. It's, there's a link in the description to see how it went. And do have a look at Unihertz, and you probably like it. So thank you again for watching this video. Do have a look of the blog post and again do subscribe to us on all our channels on instagram facebook twitter and pinterest at Windows only we do have more videos coming soon thank you for watching and see you next time